I think, like many of us, Sandy would say that the University of Texas changed his life. A successful kid from New Orleans, Louisiana, with an older sister at the University of Texas, he shows up on campus and it gives him every opportunity to establish his capacity for leadership. Of course, I wasn't at the University of Texas when Sandy was there because he's so much older than I am. Um, he set records that uh, sat up in Gregory Gym for a long, long time from his swimming. One of the things that Sandy's most famous for among the Silver Spurs is for starting the March of Dimes dance marathon. Sandy got the approval to get the, the project started. He uh, got the fundraising underway, and then he had this problem. He didn't have any place to have his dance marathon. He had to go up to the tower and get permission to allow Gregory Gym to be open all the way through Sunday at noon so that he could have his overnight dance marathon. Sandy was all over the place in terms of uh, his uh, propensity to overachieve. As I started learning about uh, how the city of Austin has evolved, especially over the past 20 years, uh, Sandy has had a big hand in that. Sandy has had a career of 40 plus years in a very difficult business. You know, some of Sandy's key projects are certainly uh, the Arboretum. It was unique for the time, that type of mixed-use project. 301 Congress was another uh, just uh, very large office building. Sandy has had probably closer to 11 million feet of, of product that he developed in Austin. So he's had a, a bunch of successful projects. His father actually passed away uh, prior to me going to work for the family. And one of my regrets is that I, I never got to meet him. He evidently was an amazing person. And I think Sandy has that same way about him. I don't think anybody's more deserving of the Distinguished Alumni Award than Sandy, in my opinion and in my judgment. I hang around the university and I've seen a lot of people make contributions in various ways, but I've never seen anybody work as hard as Sandy Gottesman and to be as involved as in many places and as many hours as he is. And the University of Texas plays a tremendous role in his life. In 1977, you know, Sandy made his first gift and, and since then it's been uh, uh, numerous, uh, whether it's the athletic department or College of Architecture or, uh, you know, the McCombs School of Business, the real estate program there, you know, just almost too many to, to mention. Well, Sandy and, and Lisa have been tremendously generous to the university. If you, you look at the endowments that they set up and the, and the gifts that they've made, um, they're in the business school and real estate, which is, uh, has been Sandy's passion, uh, but they support medicine, uh, they support computer science, uh, they support social work. They support so many different aspects of this university because uh, both of them, Sandy and Lisa, understand the impact this university has. Sandy has a really nice combination of charisma, uh, smarts, um, and likability. He's the most humble person I know and he's achieved more than anybody I know. Without that uh, strength of character that he has, uh, I certainly know he wouldn't be as successful as he is. What Sandy has done as a professional in the real estate industry, what Sandy has done as a philanthropist, and what Sandy has done as an advocate for the university, each one of those in itself has been distinguished. Then you put all of those areas together and Sandy Gottesman deserves the DAA.